Well, it's developing a news story here on the Weather Channel. Uh, you can see we do have a lot of rain. We're looking at the Bahamas. This is Nassau in the Bahamas, uh, courtesy of DNS TV. A live look right now. Whatever's left over of Nicole is dumping a lot of rain right now in the Bahamas. And while the background team coverage continues with our severe weather expert, Dr. Ray Forbes, we're talking about the ingredients for flooding. What could be setting up on these coasts? Yeah, we have one of the richest tropical moist air masses we'll ever see combining the thermal zone and a developing low pressure system, bad combination. All of that moisture is still there, the remnants from Nicole coming out of the Caribbean. That's flowing north, it's going to bang into the stationary front. And we have an upper trough from the mid-latitudes that's going to induce a wave of low pressure on that front. And that is going to squeeze the converging air with that low, is going to squeeze out all of that tropical moisture up across the Carolinas, up into the mid-Atlantic, and then continuing on into Thursday and Friday morning, at least up into parts of upstate New York and up into the New England area. So we're talking about a big swath where we can get local six to eight inches, even ten inches plus of rain across these areas. Out of the flanks, the east flanks of that low, there'll be very strong winds at low levels, and that could give severe weather as well. So we'll have a heavy rain flooding and some severe weather to deal with. Rain-wise, this big green shaded area, two to five inches of rain, locally six to ten plus across there. That includes Wilmington has already had more than 15 inches of rain. Serious flooding problems there. And some of this will lead to flash flooding as well as into river flooding that will continue Friday and beyond. Now for a severe weather threat, let's take a look at that uh, on our, this frame here. Uh, the east and north parts of this, damaging wind gusts. The south and the uh, east uh, and south parts of this will have a tornado threat. Talk about the eastern parts of Maryland and Delaware, about a tree of a Torcon rating of 10, about a 30% chance of a tornado within 50 miles. Then we get down into the uh, southeast Virginia and uh, eastern parts of North Carolina, a 5 on the Torcon scale. And that could begin tonight and into tomorrow, 50% chance of a tornado within 50 miles. All right, thank you very much, Dr. Forbes. Now back to you. All right, thanks, President Dr. Forbes.